Welcome back to the Stronic Aurora Rec Complex as part of Championship Saturday here. And we now have the Bantam Championship game. The orange team, the visitors, against the Gold Stingers, who are to the far side, to the south side of the building. And right off the draw, they come up with the puck. And work it to the line, just working it in over the line, still maintaining control of the puck. And racing into the corner there was 15 for the Gold Stingers. Melody Irish, but it's cleared away by the orange and up the ice. Picking it up was 12. Jacalis, wrist shot, oh, and great save. Oh, get it, they get a goal. Right off the get-go, the orange team has the lead. Isabella Shuley, the goaltender, had the initial shot. She made the stop, it was right in her gear, but she just couldn't get her paw down, if you will, and, and glove the puck in front of her, and it somehow trickled past. And Orange, with a really quick strike on the first rush off the face-off, and that's the way you want to start the championship game. And I believe it was Ali Ewy who got the goal based on the congratulations she got back at the bench when <laughs> she returned, Attaboy. because we couldn't tell in that crowd who actually poked it in. But the orange right off, we waited so long for a goal in the first game that we did. That's right. In the Pee Wee Championship, where the Blues beat the Purples, the goal didn't come until the third period. This one's just seconds into the opening frame. And that goal in the one prior to this, the Pee Wee Championship, was about uh, 28 minutes in the making, two tens and about eight minutes into the third, the 12 minute third. So we had to wait like nearly half an hour for a goal. This one, 30 seconds in, exactly. not bad. Exactly, the first real shot on goal. The Gold Stingers trying to clear it, they cannot. Orange centers it in front, but the puck's tipped into the far corner. Jerry's pinching in from the point. They keep it in at the half board, but now it's cleared out by the Gold and down the ice. Cross ice pass into the middle. Orange starting to press again, but the puck rolled off the player's stick. Now Jerry's has it out in the neutral zone, passes it across to her defense mate who shoots it in from outside the blue line. Now the Golds go back to get it. They're working it up ice over their own blue line. But it's chopped away by the orange. And now we have a collision at the blue line which caused an offside there. And it was 14 for the gold there that was carrying it over the line to Norcia. It was Mika Noonan, 14 of the orange, that chopped the puck away in the neutral zone. I thought that's what you were going to say there, because I thought I had her name ready to go. I thought, good authoritative, that puck is not entering our zone without a battle from me. So good job by 14 orange and 14 gold. Biasoni gets it out over the line for the orange, but the gold get it in. As they try to tie this one up, they're getting a chance here. Shot right on, and Walters makes the save. Kelly Walters, number two in the orange net, coming up with a big save. Now the orange break back up the ice. He shot down the ice. Hash going after it as the yellow de goal defender tripped and fell. But we do get the whistle and the puck's gonna come all the way back up the ice on the icing call. Isabella Shuley, we mentioned her, the gold stingers netminder there. Had a little trouble on her first attempt and it found its way past her. But Kelly Walters, her counterpart at the other end of the ice in orange, just to our right, uh, number two. She was tested and came up uh, large. You could hear the crowd cheering on her save. Kristen Harrington will take the draw for the gold team. And Golds get the draw at the point. The shot was knocked down, poked ahead. Orange steered off to the near side boards. Martin banging at it for the Golds. Bounces off a skate. Puck is still loose. Haynes tipped it ahead. But the Orange take over. Noonan hitting her own player in the back, so the puck stays in. Coming back up for the Orange was eight, EY. Shot down the ice by the stick of the gold defender, Roberta Haynes, and she races back after it. No icing call here. The Orange changing things up now. Sending out some fresh legs. Orange leading this Bantam Championship by a score of one nothing here in the first period. The Central York Girls Hockey Association's Champions Day. This is our second of three games, but there have been hockey games all day long here. Eva Jerry's number 11 in orange was late coming off the bench, and she was behind a couple of players, so I'll continue in a minute. She lost the puck there, but fortunately, the gold player stumbled and didn't get a clear break at the net. That was 14 for the gold there, Jessica Denorcia. 
Shot right. Oh, that one goes wide. 